Chlorine is highly reactive, so it is never found in its elemental form in nature. For example, you're familiar with it when it is combined with sodium in NaCl, table salt. It wasn't until 1774 that pure chlorine was obtained. Carl Wilhelm Schiele, a Swedish pharmacist, was experimenting with soaking the mineral pyrolusite, MnO2, in hydrochloric acid, HCl, and he noticed the gas escaping. It wasn't oxygen like he first thought. It had a biting odor and burnt the skin. You see, Schiele had a peculiar habit of testing his chemical discoveries on himself. He's lucky he didn't die. Chlorine gas in small amounts is irritating, but in large amounts, it is fatal. Not surprisingly, chlorine gas was used as a chemical weapon by Germany in World War I. Nowadays, we use chlorine as a disinfectant in our swimming pools, and we use it to bleach our clothes. Uh, but we still have to be very careful with it. Chlorine gets its name from its greenish-yellow color. Uh, the Greek word for this color is chloros. Uh, think of chlorophyll, and you'll remember that chlorine gas is green. <laughs>